Echoes of the Serpent, Episode 9, Cracks in the Covenant. Uneasy peace settled over Pharaohs and the Iron Legion. The fragile covenant, forged in the tense demonstration, held for a time. Resources flowed, the Legion's war machine slowed, and Pharaohs enjoyed a period of relative prosperity. Yet, beneath the surface, cracks began to appear. Within the Legion, a sense of unease festered. The promised utopia, fueled by Pharaoh's technology, seemed elusive. The harsh realities of depleted resources and a war-fatigued populace gnawed at the Legion's leadership. General Vargas, stripped of his power, but not his ambition, saw an opportunity to exploit this discontent. He whispered amongst the soldiers, painting Pharaohs as cunning manipulators hoarding the true potential of the technology. He preyed on their anxieties, stoking the flames of old prejudices. A new faction, the Purists, emerged, advocating for a forceful extraction of the technology, convinced it held the key to ultimate power. Meanwhile, in Pharaohs, a different kind of tension brewed. The influx of Legion resources fueled rapid technological advancements. However, a debate arose within the Council. Anya, ever pragmatic, advocated for measured progress, ensuring the technology benefited everyone in Pharaohs. Kai, however, saw a different future. He envisioned a Pharaohs that could not only defend itself, but also become a beacon of innovation, inspiring positive change across the region. This divergence in vision created friction within the Council. The simmering tensions reached a boiling point when a Legion delegation, led by a stoic but suspicious commander named Volkov, arrived in Pharaohs. Officially, they were there to discuss increased resource exchange. Unofficially, they were there to investigate rumours of Pharaohs weaponising the technology. Volkov's visit was fraught with suspicion. Anya, leading the negotiations, struggled to maintain a sense of trust. Kai, frustrated by the Legion's lack of faith, saw an opportunity to showcase Pharaoh's advancements. He secretly arranged a demonstration of a prototype defence system, a shield powered by the new energy core. The demonstration backfired spectacularly. Volkov, misinterpreting the display as a threat, reported back to the Legion leadership, twisting the narrative into a confirmation of Pharaoh's aggressive intentions. General Vargas, seizing this opportunity, rallied the purists. They convinced Elara, the Legion leader, weary from the constant struggle for resources, to authorise a covert mission to steal the technology from Pharaohs. Meanwhile, within Pharaohs, Anya, upon learning of Volkov's distorted report, realised the precarious situation. She contacted Rona, still a fragile link between the two nations, pleading for a chance to rectify the misunderstanding. The episode ends with a tense standoff, a Legion squad, led by a zealous purist lieutenant indoctrinated by Vargas propaganda, infiltrates Pharaohs under the cover of night, aiming to steal the core of the new defence system. Anya, alerted by Rona, scrambles to warn Kai, who is overseeing the final adjustments to the prototype shield. The fate of the fragile piece hangs in the balance. Will Kai and Anya be able to stop the rogue Legion squad before they escalate the situation into open war? Can trust be rebuilt? Or will the echoes of dissent drown out the fragile hope for a lasting alliance? Episode 10, Echoes of Hope, the night echoed with the clang of metal as the rogue Legion squad, led by the fanatical Lieutenant Thorn, breached the outer defences of Pharaohs. Kai, alerted by Anya's frantic message, raced towards the prototype, shield chamber, his heart pounding with a grim premonition. Inside the chamber, the faint hum of the energy core filled the air. Lyra, his ever-loyal apprentice, stood guard, her youthful face etched with whirring. Kai, grabbing a discarded metal bar, barked orders, instructing her to activate the shield at the first sign of trouble. Suddenly, the chamber doors exploded inwards. Thorn, a hulking figure clad in heavy armour, charged in, his eyes blazing with fanaticism. Behind him, his squad of purists, armed and tense, formed a menacing wall, a desperate fight ensued. Kai, using his agility and honed combat skills, fought like a cornered beast, deflecting blows with the makeshift weapon. But Thorn, fueled by his distorted belief in Pharaoh's treachery, was relentless. Lyra, seeing Kai falter, activated the shield with trembling hands. A soft, blue glow enveloped the chamber, momentarily stopping the fight. Thorn, 
momentarily stunned, spotted accusations of betrayal. But before the situation could escalate further, Anya and Rona burst into the chamber, panting. Anya, her voice filled with urgency, explained the misunderstanding, revealing Volkov's distorted report and the Legion leadership's hasty decision. Rona, acting as a translator and bridge between the two cultures, implored Thorn to stand down. The tension remained thick in the air. Thorn, his face contorted in a struggle between indoctrinated beliefs and the dawning truth, lowered his weapon. Shame flickered in his eyes as he realized he'd been manipulated by Vargas lies. Taking advantage of the momentary ceasefire, Rona used a communication device to contact Elara directly. Anya, her voice raspy but firm, explained the fabrication behind the defense system, showcasing its purely defensive capability. Elara, on the other side of the transmission, listened intently. The weary lines on her face deepened as she absorbed the truth. Disappointment flickered in her eyes as she realized Vargas' treachery. With a heavy voice, she ordered the squad to stand down. The immediate crisis was averted. Thorn and his squad, their blind faith shaken, were taken into custody. Anya and Rona, their faces etched with exhaustion but relief, shared a look of understanding. They had bridged the gap, not through force, but through honesty and communication. In the aftermath, a tense but necessary conversation took place between the Pharaoh's council and Alara. Vargas manipulations were exposed, and he was stripped of his remaining authority. A new era of cooperation dawned. Pharaohs agreed to share the technology, not as a weapon, but as a tool for progress. The Legion, in turn, pledged to work towards sustainable resource management and a path away from constant war. Years passed, Pharaohs and the Iron Legion, once bitter enemies, became unlikely allies. Their combined technological advancements not only improved their own lives, but also inspired positive change across the region. Trade flourished, and the echoes of dissent faded, replaced by the murmurs of a shared, brighter future. The final scene showed Kai, his hair streaked with even more silver, but his eyes still holding a spark of defiance, standing on a hill overlooking Pharaohs. The once industrial city now thrummed with a vibrant energy, powered by clean technology and the spirit of collaboration. Beside him stood Anya, Rona and Lyra, their faces etched with the lines of experience, but radiating a shared sense of accomplishment. They had all played their part, proving that even in the darkest of times, echoes of hope could pave the way for a more peaceful world. Echoes of hope iron and spark from Forge to Alliance. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen the story. If you enjoyed this story, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm also grateful for this amazing community. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this story and what kind of stories you'd like to hear next.